What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on PlayStation Black Desert and because so many people requested it, we have zoomed the camera out. I don't know why it drives people so insane that I zoomed it in, but yeah, we zoomed it out. And I'll probably leave it zoomed out because it's really not, the, you can't really zoom out that far. Uh, and if you didn't know how to zoom out, you hold the right stick down for about three seconds and then you can zoom in and out just by moving the stick up and down. So on PlayStation here, we're a little bit not the same as Xbox. You can see the pets, not very exciting on the pet front. On, play, on Xbox, I have like tier four pets and level tens and they're much more exciting. But yeah, here are the pets over here inventory not very exciting i did go and buy some weapons spent about four mil so that's about it <laughs> there's not a whole lot up and then i also bought the masquerade outfit set um because our character is based on lady maria and this had the cape and i liked it so we haven't used this outfit before so i decided it would be the time to use this outfit um, other than that, let's get into this. Uh, this episode's gonna be not short, but it's not gonna be super crazily long, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we're just gonna clean this up. We will kill the, um, we'll kill good old Red Nose, and then we'll probably kill Gaieth in this episode. And then that will be the end of this episode, probably. Maybe we'll do one more thing, depending on time, but yeah, we're going to keep it short and sweet. And then I will definitely play a ways into the future, probably into the mid-game before we have another episode of this. So it might be it might be a day. We might skip this tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. Tomorrow is PSO2, so I, I don't ask me where my time is going to end up falling. <laughs> tomorrow pso 2 is at night so might be able to get out a bdo video in the morning so we'll just see we'll just have to wait and see come down here and slaughter these guys we're almost done i did go ahead and slap on my uh double xp that they give you or actually it's triple xp it's the 200 percent the daily frenzy bonus that they're giving you and so i did slap that on so we are on our way to leveling this character up quickly. I want to get as many levels off here at the very beginning of the game as I can. Um, be, well, it, it doesn't really matter. Can I complete that? Thank you. But yeah, I want to get as many levels off here at the beginning. So that when we finish the game, I like to try to finish, get to the... Um, the end of the like initial main story i like to hit that at like 54 early 54s so this should help do that and then usually i can go from 54 to 55 fairly easily now with afk for uh afk leveling with the scarecrows i can go from 54 to 55 afk in about uh, if I'm going to be accurate about this in about a day, I think it's about a day. It's like, it's like, um, it's like 9%. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's like 9% or something like that an hour. Um, so yeah, do the math on that. That's about 10 hours to 11 hours to level up essentially. Uh, and then I can go from 55 to 56 in about an hour and a half to two hours at abandoned iron mines my rotation is not as good as it used to be i think it used to take me like an hour but because they did this change where they removed 40 percent of the enemies to try to get stability better especially on playstation where it is some hot trash um well, I'll go to town in this episode because I don't know. I know a lot of you play PlayStation because I think the player base is bigger on PlayStation than it is on Xbox. But I personally am not giving up what I have on Xbox to move to PlayStation full time. Just not gonna do it. I spent too much money on Xbox 
Xbox is my home forever and I'm not leaving, but I am going to start playing on PlayStation a lot more. So, yeah. But PlayStation will always be the backup and it will never be as good as my Xbox account. So that's just tragically how it's going to have to go. Which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. The player base on Xbox is still pretty healthy, I think, but it's just not it's just not PlayStation's player base. And I find it funny that Xbox's player base is a little bit smaller and they have like way more servers. So if you change servers on here, there's what, three, six, nine, because Arsha counts. There's like 18 on Xbox. There's so many more servers on Xbox. Okay, so let's fight Red Nose. And then I'll go to the town and hopefully it will do. Obviously I had to go to Velia initially to get the weapon and stuff that I'm using now. So I've already been there and holy lag. Like right now it's really good because there's not a bunch of people and they reduce the enemies counters. So there's not a bunch of enemies. But yeah, once I go to town, you guys will see just how brutally tragic it is. And there goes Red Nose. Always so nice and easy to slaughter Red Nose. Okay, so let's go run over to the town, and then I will cut ahead, and we can get to uh, Gresha's part. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was about to leave. To make a horrible mistake and leave. Okay, complimentary of the, of the veteran. Can I learn how to talk? Come back over here. I do like the zoomed out because it gives you more uh, field of view, but I also like the zoom in because that's just what I'm used to on console stuff. Most games are zoomed in like that over the third person, and so that obviously is just what I'm used to. But yeah, it was probably one of the most requested things I've had on my channel since I've done Black Desert over all this time is to zoom the camera out. So that's what we did. We zoomed the camera out and here we are. Um, I'm going to record so for this is just a quick thing on the PSO2. I'm going to record my first half hour. I haven't quite decided with that game how I want to do videos. Um, probably depends on character slots and all that different stuff. If I can do two character slots, one where I do it exactly like this game, and one character slot where I just show literally everything, I will. Uh, but goal is to get on tomorrow as soon as the beta launches and just record the very first half hour I play or hour and just straight upload that. Because I want to get the video up as soon as physically possible. So yeah, that will be the first video. I'll, I'll make mention of it again tomorrow in that video, but... I, want, I don't want to, obviously, if I have to do a bunch of heavy editing, I don't want it to take me, like, six hours to get the first video up. So, yeah, unfortunately, the first episode may be a little dull, but that's okay. Okay, so, skip through all that, and now we can go to a Lustin, and you guys can see... Already can get the frame rate drops right there, and you can see... Just look at the... It's just... It's rough over here on PlayStation. Like, I rarely have this type of stuff on Xbox. Like, very... Like, look at this. This is... <laughs> this is some... This is some next-level lag. So, yeah. Clearly, I get why they did not bring out... Um... Uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba, Ca Camisilv yet. Camisilv out yet. Because this is, uh... Not gonna lie. This is pretty brutal in towns um and i can only imagine adding more stuff to the map not gonna make it any better so yeah i'll see you guys in just a second uh we'll come back in with some sort of fight i'll probably do the the, the boss fight then i'm not quite sure what we're gonna do but we'll have a boss fight soon all right our journey continues by killing gaieth here and then i'm gonna kill some stuff on our way to our next point and then we'll we'll go from there Essentially is where we're at right now. So get Gaieth in here. And we will smoke him. We're about to hit level 20 very soon, which is nice. We're we're well on our way here in episode 1, which is good. I'm so used to seeing Gaia's health bar. Not actually used to this version of Gaia where I can't see his health. And there goes good old Gaius. So now we need to go talk to Grusha, who is, well, actually, 
It's, uh, no, we talked to the, the, well, the, the chick. I don't even remember her name. What's her name? Emma Bartali. I was thinking of Eileen, which is the other lady that comes later on in the story that we have to talk to. Okay, so now we need to pick the wildflower, which is over here. You also get the as well weapon. We also probably... Okay, I guess we don't have any... I guess we don't have any event quests for Konoichi. Um... Yeah, I guess we don't have anything for Kono Ichi. Maybe. Maybe they just aren't in the game yet. They'll get added. But as of right now, we don't have any. Where's the strong enemy over here? Hold on. Come here, violent goblin elite soldier. Give me that silver bar. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can go pick up the flower. But I also want to do a little bit of farming as we come over here. And then I'll probably skip the castle area, and then we'll go from the castle area to the final boss for this video. There's like one more boss, that, the boss with the, the kunai chain. That dude. What, I don't even remember what his name is called. But yeah, we'll kill that dude, and then that'll be kind of the end of the episode. Um, I'll do some killing, obviously, before we get to that point for you guys something i'll try to do something but yeah we'll i think that's really the next boss area because i don't really want to show the castle that's kind of boring i guess the castle isn't very exciting i guess we can do the castle and then because i always show that area at the end don't always show the castle i don't think so yeah we'll do what whatever we'll do the castle we'll do this part of the game and then we'll call it an episode and then who knows where on earth i will start the next episode It'll just be, it'll be a surprise to everybody involved where I start the next episode. Um, I'm guessing it will probably be deep into the game, like mid-30s, late-30s is probably where I'll aim. I'm just going to sit back, watch some podcast or listen to some podcasts, watch, slash watch some podcasts, and uh, see where the game takes me. And then I'll decide when I want to hop back in for you guys. Might as well slaughter some of these guys along the way. Grab a little bit of XP. Level 19. I'm kind of surprised. Usually when they add new characters to the game, we get quests, or we get uh, challenges to level the characters up all the way to, like, level 58, usually. But not the case. Uh, not the case for Konoichi, it looks like. Also, on Xbox, I've been AFK leveling Sork, about to hit 59. So I'll have a video on that when I hit 59 on her, because uh, that's probably the most important thing that we have going on on Xbox, is still trying to level up Sork so that we can uh, do Camasylvia, because we still haven't done that. So at some point, some point we're going to do that. As well as I looked, I have like eight characters I need to get to 56, so all of that will be getting done eventually here. So, plenty of stuff left for me to do on BDO. Someone asked me, the reason I bring that up is because someone asked me uh, what I had planned after Konoichi on Xbox, and I was like, okay, yeah, we got a lot of crap still to do, so no worries, I'll be, I'll be at leveling characters and stuff like that for a while. It'll be like months, like I would say probably to like September, October gonna be a while for me to level up all those characters to 56 through videos it would not be as long if i just played on them and woo there we go we completed it but i have to actually level them up on video because that's what i care about um so that will take it that'll make it take a little longer because obviously i play less when i'm making videos because it takes time to make the video so, let's get back to the video at hand, which is to... Is that really not one-shot the barracks? That's interesting. Barracks are low-key kind of tough. I'm just trying to kill a little bit as we go here, grab a little bit of experience along the way. So, we need to burn the tents and steal the document. 
this is an area that I wish they kind of utilized a little bit more. I think it's kind of a cool area with the castle and just the structural design of it. And I kind of wish there was a boss here and some other stuff like that that they could have done. But it's still a pretty decent area. I don't really love the quests that they chose for this area, but still a pretty, pretty solid area. Okay. Let's grab that. Pluck that out of there. And out we go. Yeah, so I'll probably just go ahead and complete this, and once we get the, uh, once we complete up top, uh, the little kill quests that they provide and stuff like that, we'll call it the episode. But level 20 already, that's a great start for episode 1, got us level 20, probably start episode 2 at level 40, or like mid-35, so I'll have a little bit of progression to do on my own. But I actually enjoy just playing the game and running through it, so I have no real qualms or issue running through on my own. So, let's go ahead and get up here and talk to uh, Beetle. Oh, I didn't talk to Eileen. I, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm, so, I'm used to it, like, auto-tracking stuff, and then it just... I'm used to the old way that they did quests, not the new way that they did do quests now. Which is my bad. So, back to Eileen we go. I, I think I, I've done this in, like, half the episode since they changed, since I came back and they had changed this. I always forget to grab one of the quests. Okay, there we go. So now, let's go find Beetle. Oh, as well, one thing that I did purchase, uh, takes up a lot of my storage space, uh, but I did buy extra large potions, just so I don't have to worry about that in the future. So let's go ahead and throw all of that on. Should be it. Get some defensive gear on. I'll probably look... T I I'm really hoping I can just make it to when I get the Black Abyssal weapon. And then I just don't have to worry anymore. That's the real goal that I'm trying to make it to, is just get me to the Black Abyssal. Uh, I think I'm going to try to make the Ranger my main character on PlayStation still. Uh, it's level 49. I'm going to play on it uh, kind of off camera, try to get it to like 52, 53. And then we'll finish it up on camera after this uh, whole thing is over, after the Konoichi stuff is all done. But yeah, I'm going to try to play a little bit of... Siri. I need to make sure and play her every day at least a little bit because I need to get the bonus items for getting the level 50 and then all of that different stuff. So I do need to get that and I only got a week after I redeem them obviously to get there. So I have to make sure and remember that. So we need to go to the top here and do the summon. And then I think we have the, the little kill quest for the soldiers. And uh, then we can wrap it up. We can wrap on up this episode. I don't know why I got like tongue tied there, but yeah, I'm still a little bit tired. <laughs> like I said, I recorded that video late last night. Then I had to get up early this morning, so a little bit tired today. But uh, I'm gonna pump out this video. Then we'll have the Konoichi on Xbox um, Awakening. Well, Awaken. What am I trying to say? Awakening. Um, I'm an idiot. Awakening um, farm video. I can't believe I couldn't think of that in my mind. Farm video. And then um, we'll try to have another episode for this up tomorrow morning before PSO2. And then I'm not quite sure how it's going to go from there. We'll have to figure that out because I'm not entirely sure how on earth I'm going to go about that. Like I said, we'll figure it out. It's not a big deal, but try to give you guys the best idea i'm a person who loves to know what's happening the plan all that different junk so i try to do that the best i can for you guys i have something in my eye um so i try to do the best i can for you guys on that front um all right i got whatever the heck was in my eye out so let's continue this i have no idea it was like I i'm assuming it was an eyelash but i don't really know 
I just kind of I put some eye drops in and it came out and that's all that I care about. Just whatever the heck was in my eye, get the heck out. Alright, so let's slaughter some of these dudes on our way up here. Do I still have... I have nine more minutes of my double XP. Or my triple XP. So let's use it wisely. Kill as much as we can. Hello? Can I hit that guy? Thank you. Try and get to... Tw Ooh, look at how much... Look at how much XP you get for... You get 6% of a level from killing one of these guys. kind of insane. Imagine if these guys had any sort of mob density. It would be absolutely insanity on the level up front all right slice you up this is the only right here to the left is the only mob density in the entire place these three guys that spawn right next to each other right there I'm really happy. It doesn't look like they took any people out of this place. They didn't reduce this place's spawn rates by 40%. Or I guess not rates, but spawns by 40% and then the, increase the rates. Because this area has, like, no spawns to begin with, so... I mean, there's a little bit of mob density here, but not really because they're spread out across the world. Still gonna backtrack and kill this dude because we're still getting six, like five percent a kill. So I am not going to pass up easy levels. I guess there's a pair. Actually, this is not terrible density here. So we're about to hit 22 already. It's kind of interesting. I never really noticed this, so I might have to pay attention to it in the future because, like, we're still getting five percent here. I need to take the time to kill what enemies I can here when I come. So this was actually good that I, I'm happy I because I would have just if I would have been doing this without you guys I would have just ran straight through this. I would have never taken the time to kill all of these guys. But uh, actually this is good. It taught me that probably should take the time to kill these guys because even though they're spread out to the ends of the earth. They give really good experience. Are we really going to go up like three? We're going to go up like three levels by doing this. Kind of insane. There's 80. Just for the principle, we're going to get to 23. Kill you. One more kill. Come here, buddy. And there it is. Level 23. So at level 23... Just for scientific experimental purposes, let me come over here and kill one of these guys. So I can see how much, if it still gives us the crazy high experience. Yeah, it still gives us 5%. Eh, it gives us like 4% now. But that's still pretty darn good. Yeah, it gives you about, so is it 19.8? We'll see here. He gives you like 3.5%. Like 35 to 4%. That's still really good. I can level up, like, again off of these dudes. They really respawn this quick. But this is, uh... This was a kind of really cool discovery. Because this will help, like, with later stuff. Because you'll be leveled up a little bit more. So you definitely want to kill these guys as you go down this path to do the initial quest. And then when you come back, kill whatever's respawned. Ah, interesting. You can hit, like, I want to get to 24 and then see if 24 is a... Because at some point, you get a steep decline on the experience you get, but we haven't really seen that. There we go, 90%. I'm actually really happy I discovered this, because as many times as I play through the game, I'm always looking at the best, like, optimal ways. Look at that, 99.9. Okay, so here we go. Now we can test it, so... No, they're still giving 4%. So even at 24, they're still giving good percentage on experience. Which is... Loki... Hey, what the... My dude got the jukes. Interesting. So, I guess we can probably hit 25 on our way back here. 
And so then I'll end my test at level 25, but I, I do want to kind of test this out just a little bit here in this episode. Probably not the most exciting thing to watch, but uh, actually never paid attention to this area because I thought it was not, like, a cream of the crop area. So I just never, I just always wanted to get out of it because there weren't a bunch of mobs to kill, but the singular enemies give so much experience that it doesn't really matter that the mob density is kind of cheeks. Okay, so there's 25. So if I kill this scout, it still gives 4%. Man, this is kind of... This area is low-key kind of insane. Uh, I'll respect it. Okay, we'll be done killing those. I could test it further, probably up to like 27, but that's kind of crazy. You can get a lot of levels just by... I mean, you don't even have to mess with farming like I did. You can just kill everything on your way there. Like it, when you go down to um um what's her face and then emma bartali you can kill there and then you're down there long enough i think they respawn you could kill on the way back once you get here on your way to be one once you got to steal the documents you can kill then some should respawn when you come on your way back then when you got to go meet beetle you can kill you can kill everything on your way out it's actually fairly nice i kind of like this area might include it a little bit more in videos because I, try, I tend to try to include my areas that I like in videos because I just think it's better content if I play the areas that I like. But I do try to mix it up as well, show some areas that I don't go to as often. But that's going to do it for this first episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video or later today on the farm session with Konoichi Awakening on Xbox. Or I'll catch you in this video tomorrow or PSO2 tomorrow. Whatever is the next video you watch is. Pace.